If you've never been to Guion, go grab yourself a beer and watch it here. We'll show you Guion. Go get yourself that beer. Guion, China. One of my favorite cities in China. One of a few. Um, I've been to maybe 30 cities maybe in China. Maybe, maybe a little bit more. Maybe 35. But, uh, but I think this might be up in the top. Um, maybe in the top three. But uh, Guiyang, it's kind of underrated. Not a lot of people know about it. And I was just getting to know it too. And in this particular video, um, I'll show you the map. This is where I'm going to be at. And just so that you kind of know, when I came into the street, I didn't know what to expect. I heard there was a Burger King. It was like one of the two that was the only two in the whole city. I didn't eat there. I just use it as a reference point because I know if I can find something like that, then I'm probably in a spot where I should be at because that's probably where um, the other stuff that's maybe interesting. So anyways, I went to that spot and then I explored. And later I found out there's even cooler areas in Guiyang. But this was kind of interesting because I had a lot of interactions with the locals and I got some good food too. So you can see some of that in the background as well. And let's just kind of show you through the whole experience with me and you get the first eye view through my camera lens. Guiyang, China. Okay, so what I could tell that this is one of the main streets to explore in, um, in Guiyang. It doesn't look like it from here, but I just don't know. But I did see on the map that there's actually a Burger King on the other side, which means I guess we are going into something if, if they're putting the international. I think it's only like two Burger Kings in the whole city. Um, and maybe a few McDonald's and KFC. But anyways, I'm, I'm not gonna go there. I'm just using it as a reference point that helps me know that this is the right air key in case there's other ones. But we're gonna explore it and kind of see. And yeah, it doesn't look like it'd be that interesting at the moment, but, but it might be later on. So we'll find out. Air key road. Let's check it out. Air key Lu. So let's go check it out. So at the moment, um, it just looks like nothing that special. It does say Air Key South. Well, let's go over here and see if there's something more special over here. Could be. That's a kind of interesting, I guess. So we're gonna walk into this area, which looks like we got, oh, okay. I think I know what this is now. That's a That's let's see how she does this. It's kind of cool. So what I'm going to do is we're going to... Oh, they got it. <laughs> so she got the balloon. So I guess this is the Arkey Street that they're talking about. So now I can see it. The, that other road doesn't look like it at all. It looks anything but. But this side... Looks kind of amazing. I mean, I don't know if it looks amazing, but it looks like the place that I want to be, anyways. Duck. Duck, duck, goose. It's like something I'd see in South China. It's like something I would see in different places too. Candy. And they do have these little hot pot stuff right in here. Hmm, that looks kind of tasty. I've seen that in other places too. I'm kind of seeing if they have something that's really unfamiliar. That looks unfamiliar to me. Hello. 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 I think maybe a pigskin. So I wonder if um this street is kind of interesting. Hello. Hello, Ma. Got a lot of smells. Somebody's yelling. Where's that yelling coming? Oh, the kids are yelling. Oh, that's the Burger King right there. So. I guess it's at this side of the street, but on the other side it looked like the other side. But it doesn't matter because at least that way we kind of have a reference point that we're in a good spot. So let me, um, really getting a lot of people staring at me because I don't think, I don't think there's many foreigners, so. 
<laughs> kind of cool though. So let's say hello. Hey! <laughs> hello. <laughs> Dun Let me see what these ones are. I'm gonna come over here. Actually, yes, somebody was telling me that looks kind of interesting. Someone was telling me that when they go out at night in. Oh, these are dumplings. Somebody was saying when they go out at night in um, China, especially in these areas, people buy them drinks constantly. And I was thinking that could be definitely true. I'm kind of seeing what all we got in here. Kind of do want those dumplings, but... But what I really want to do is film the whole street. And then come back to the one that looks good. Hello. It's like sticky tofu. Smells like it too. These are always good. These look like they're gonna be pretty spicy. It's kind of cool. I've been seeing a lot of rice like that, right? Like sticky rice. That looks really good too. That one looks really tasty. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe this one. Yeah. Um, like, is it like small? Um, small? So small means large? Small? <laughs> oh, 16. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. Oh, 50 is okay. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm, yeah. I'll give you the 50 as well. That's gonna be tasty. Let's see. Oh yeah. I hope they had the... Oh, that's a lot. That's oh, good. I want more than meat, but... Can I get a couple more? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Oh. I also have to get some Coca-Cola. You also have this one? Oh, okay. That one's gonna be really tasty. So I guess this also comes with the noodles as well. That's gonna be really, really good. I can already tell. I think the Guiyang food is going to be pretty tasty everywhere. So let me just kind of see. Just kind of see the other, all the other spaces. So I'm going to walk all the way down there later, but I guess what I'll do is I'll get, I'll order this one first. And then once that's all ready, then we'll um, we'll eat that one, and then we're gonna walk all the way down to the end of the street. This looks like it's gonna be pretty tasty, but I just saw over there it looks like kind of something really cool, like some kind of noodles with bread, and then some kind of tea drink over there. I'll go check that out, and then we're gonna finish and walk down there later. Oh, I need chopsticks. This is um, it's hard to do it with a spoon. It's kind of dry. But oh, it's spicy too. I 
guess I can use a spoon. I think it's better, it's better if I had chopsticks though. Because this rice is easy to pick up with chopsticks and the spoon is kind of weird. I'm gonna get a lot of people watching me, so. I can already tell. Okay. So I'm gonna um, enjoy this one. And then I'm gonna go see what that is, and then we're gonna walk all the way down there. Okay, so we're gonna film more of our street. And this, I kinda wanted to see what these ones are over here, so we're gonna come over here real quick and take a look. Okay, so this is actually. Hello, how are you? <laughs> so this... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So yeah, actually this one is like a bread with, is this pork? 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 Pork or chicken? Or beef? Chicken. Chicken? Oh, okay. Chicken, chicken. Uh, okay. Uh, hot. Uh, thank you. That was hot. Okay, okay. Bye-bye. Okay, okay, so we're going to keep on walking down. And uh, so yeah, I thought that was actually something a little bit different. People are really friendly and curious. Let me, um, let's kind of go down a little bit, go back. So we're going to go all the way down to the end of the street. And this is all part of uh, Erki Street. Let me just walk out here real quick. I just want to see. This road looks so different. It just looks kind of um, plain. I mean, like, like it needs work. Okay, so we're going to keep on going down. Eggplant. So as far as I know, this is one of the most famous roads in Kuiyan. And I, I don't know if it's famous for food, I guess. Even the Burger King is here. Pretty much everybody is, come, is taking a look at me. Oh, that's cool. So I don't know if I'm capturing them all on camera, but I, I see people, I can see them off the side of my eyes, always kind of turning their heads and looking to see. But it's friendly, it's not a bad thing. It's all, uh, That looks like it's really tasty actually. That meat looks like it's so soft and tender. And that sauce looks like it'd be amazing as well. Okay. What? Pretzels? I almost never see pretzels in in China. So now we have a pretzel. <laughs> I almost never see pretzels, so uh, even in Macau where I live, I saw them. I get them like once every three, four months. So sometimes the bakeries will have them, but that looks pretty tasty right there. That looks, the picture looks tasty. That just looks. A lot of potatoes here in Guiyang. And it looks like you could get them. Kind of hot and spicy. Hmm. Okay. We'll keep on walking down. Wow. 
Looks like it'd be really spicy and tasty. Okay. Let me see. I okay, this uh, Western couple with his wife, probably. Potato chips. There's a lot of potato stuff here. And spicy tofu. So it looks like Denver Street is coming out. Hopefully that was kind of interesting. This place looks popular. Oh. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Close. Now I had that. Hello. Uh, he was really staring at me, so, so I thought I'd say hi. He came, he came from my back and he was just staring at me. I think he was staring at my camera and then also just staring at me, kind of wondering what was going on, I guess. So we're almost at the end. Okay, let me see. So I guess it'll come around like this. And I guess at the end it looks like a police station and I guess that's basically the end of it. So this is uh, one of the streets to say that they say you should go visit. I guess it's, I think it maybe said market or, or street food or, I, I don't know, but it, it sounded like it was a place to go. And the fact that there's only two Burger Kings in the city and one of them is on this street kind of implies that these guys are really drinking a lot. So that kind of implies that this was, uh, anyways, it'll get street. So yeah, they even got Burger King on the street. So, so yeah, that's I, don't, I probably didn't show it very well on the camera, but if I didn't, it's like right here in the middle of everything. I'm not gonna go there because I already ate, and I want to eat more Korean food. But nonetheless, there's a Burger King there. <laughs> oh, they really pulled that dog. Okay. So, anyways, this is uh, Edgar Gay Street. And I guess we'll come to a conclusion and try to get to some other cool stuff to film before, uh, before it gets too dark.